Welcome to this edition of A Taste of Grand Bahama. Today, we're coming to you live from the residence of People to People Ambassador, Colette Williams. Hello, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm preparing for you some corned beef and white rice, but better known to Bahamians as Fire Engine. These are the ingredients that we'll be using. You have a little oil, chopped onions, chopped bell sweet peppers, chopped tomatoes, a little thyme, Bahamian favorite, seasoning, and the main ingredient, corned beef. We also have here some tomato paste. So open it, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna reverse it. Then we're gonna put it back on. I guess I can tell you if you go from the top, it wouldn't open. And here you go, you just gonna twist. See how easy that is? I messed up a lot. When I first started opening corned beef, because I used to turn the key the other way. And I will always break the key. So there you have it. When you open these cans, you want to be very careful because the edge is very, very, very sharp. So what we're starting off with is just about two tablespoons or so oil. The oil expands, so we're just going to let that heat up a bit before we add our onions and bell peppers, tomatoes. We're going to cook those down. The name Fire Engine, as Bahamian call it, it came about because most Bahamian at back then, our fire engine was red and white, and they said it resembled the fire engine. And then someone else said, oh no, that's not why. It's because of the spice. Yes, this little gold pepper here is the spice, and they said that was the reason why it, called, it was called Fire Engine. I'm gonna start adding my herbs. I normally like to add my tomatoes first, because they have some water. We're going to go ahead here and add our onions and we're going to add our bell pepper. You smell good already, huh? Yep. And we're just going to cut those down. In our house, it was always prepared on a Wednesday because, you know, Sunday was that big peas and rice, potato salad, coleslaw, macaroni, and the work. And then we had leftovers on Mondays. Tuesday she prepared a dish and then this was our hum day. So Wednesdays was the day when this particular dish was prepared in my house. I'll let that cook down before we add some of our tomato paste there. Mmm, and here smells so good. Y'all smell that? Whew. Wow. Another thing that made this dish a very good day for hum day is, is it was a quick one. You know, kids coming home from school and you have to help out with homework at 15 minutes max. And you're, you're ready to go. The corned beef is already cooked, so it doesn't take a whole lot of time for us to get it all together. It's just a matter of getting these herbs cooked down, getting your seasoning in with your tomato paste and letting that simmer for a couple of minutes and it's all done. I know for sure it was cooked in my grandma's house. It was also cooked in my mom's house. It is cooked in my house. And the other day my daughter called me and told me she was cooking it in her house. So what, that's about four generations for sure. That should tell you, corned beef and rice. Fire engine has been around forever inside Bahamian houses. If you like spice, you want to be very generous with it. If not, you can leave this part out. But I can tell you, you wouldn't get that fire. So we've been cooking this down for about five minutes. Now I'm going to get ready to add some tomato paste to it. I'm going to add like about two tablespoons of tomato paste there. And I'm going to let that cook, transfer that in there so that it melts down. And everybody know their, their stove. This is gas that I'm cooking with, so I have this on like a medium, medium low. Now we're gonna add some fresh thyme that I just picked from my garden. 
As a matter of fact, in just a few minutes, I'm going to show you some of the other goodies I go. And with the time, you just, you know, just strip it right down there like that. Get rid of that stimmy part. And when it comes to stuff like this, when it comes to your herbs, it's all about seasoning and how you like it. So we have that and I can smell my pot heating up, so I'm gonna add my corn beef. And the thing about it is that the corn beef, you don't want to put too much oil because the corn beef already have quite a bit of fat in it. I'm doing two cans, but you can go ahead and do one. It all depends on your family side. I have a big family. And not only that, they love corned beef and white rice. They love their fire engine. And turn that down a little bit more. Okay, mix it real good. Real good there. With all that goodness marrying each other. We're gonna add, I'm gonna add the pepper. Remember, if you don't like it spicy, you can leave that out. You'll get the engine, but not the fire. <laughs> Here we go, just a little bit of seasoning. You don't need too much seasoning because there's a lot of salt. And, the, and this is just a basic whatever season to your taste. Smelling in here? Oh man. You just gotta love it. Bohemian cooking. Just gonna add just a tad bit of water. Just about a tablespoon or so. I grew up my first uh, five years of my life, I grew up with my grandmother. And she loved to cook. And I was a Grammy's girl, so I was always at her hem watching everything she did. So cooking and baking was something that she did for her family. She came from a large family, so eating out wasn't really an option, wasn't really an option for us. So yeah, that's how I started cooking and I, I truly love it. I, I enjoy cooking for family, friends, visitors alike. I'm a part of the People to People program. It is one of my favorite programs. Uh, working as a hotelier for many years, I just love people. I love, I enjoy welcoming people to Grand Bahama Island. And there was a time when People to People was on a down low. And I went on and I found people for myself. That's how much I love it. I would go and sit up in Port Lucaya and wait for people to walk by and talk to them and say, have you ever experienced this? Uh, come on, let me show you. And I've met so many friends. I have so many friends worldwide now because of People to People. And now, let me give this a little taste. Mm. Don't even need to add anything else. Ooh, that's so good. Mm. Y'all making me hungry. Oh yeah. There you have it. I have this on low now. I'm gonna put it top and let it simmer for about another three minutes or so and we're gonna be getting ready to eat. So this is something I started after Dorian and I made one for a friend and everybody else was like, oh, I wanted one, I want one, I want one. So I started making these, these aprons and of course, I love my head pieces. So I made my headbands and I also made the table runners plate mats, coasters, all out of the Bahamian material. And if you see this one, actually say it's Grand Bahama. If you want to order one from me, I am on social media. What's Cooking 242? Let's eat. Can take a little bit of that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. I hope you enjoy the taste of Grand Bahama and I hope to see you soon.